Well, hello again, Peninsula Student Ministries. Our lesson for the week of May 24th is entitled, Jesus Teaches About New Birth. If you're looking along with the PDF online, which we hope that you are, we are in session three of unit 21 of our Gospel Project lessons. Our text this week is one of my favorite texts. It comes out of John chapter 3. And in this passage, Jesus is going to meet with a Pharisee named Nicodemus. And Nicodemus is interested in Jesus' new teaching, that he uh, is, is out uh, in uh, Israel talking about these things, and Nicodemus is very intrigued by Jesus. Um, and in their interaction, Jesus tells Nicodemus that he needs to be born again if he wants to see the kingdom of God. And Nicodemus is confused by this. He thinks that Jesus is talking about a physical birth. But then Jesus explains to Nicodemus what regeneration is. Regeneration is what takes place at the beginning of the Christian life. It is the miraculous work of the Holy Spirit that moves us from a state of spiritual death to being spiritually alive. And after Jesus teaches Nicodemus about this, Nicodemus is still a little confused. So Jesus goes on to explain basically how he's going to die. Jesus compares himself to the bronze serpent from Numbers chapter 21. What Jesus says in John 3 is he says, uh, and this is verse 14 of John 3, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up. And then in verse 15, he says that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For those of you that are not familiar with the story of the bronze serpent in Numbers 21, it is a fascinating story. Moses is uh, with the Israelites in the wilderness, and uh, people, the, the Israelites, they have turned their back on God once again. And so as a judgment, God sends uh, poisonous snakes into the camp. And the, these snakes are biting people, and they are literally dying. From, from venom, from poison going through their veins. And so as these people are dying, they go to Moses and they say, Moses, is, is there anything you can do? Like, can you talk to God and get this stopped? So Moses goes to God and speaks to him and uh, says, you know, God, is there anything you can do? And God says to him, he says, all right, this is what I want you to do. I want you to make a serpent out of bronze, put it up on a pole in the middle of the camp. And whenever anybody gets bit by a poisonous snake, all they have to do is look to the bronze serpent and they'll be healed. And this seems wild to us that something like this actually happened in history, and it did. And so Moses um, tells the people this, and a lot of them were like, this, you know, you can imagine that a lot of them were probably thinking, this is ridiculous. I don't believe this. I'm not buying this. I'm not going to do it. And so when they got bit by a snake, you know what? They probably crawled back in their tent and they died. But some people, had the faith that when they got bit, that they would look to that bronze serpent and they would be cured. Jesus is telling Nicodemus, that's what I'm like. I'm going to be lifted up. What he means is when he is up hanging on the cross, paying for the sins of the world, all we do is look to Jesus in faith and we are healed. Because the poison, the venom in Numbers 21 is a symbol of the sin that you and I have pulsing through our veins today. And our sin is killing us. We are dying a spiritual death because of sin that is in us. Sin that reigns in our members is what the Apostle Paul says later. And so the cure for our sickness, the cure for our sin that is killing us, is that we look to Jesus who is raised up, the same as that bronze serpent was raised up. And that is what Jesus wants Nicodemus to know and to understand. He wants Nicodemus to know that Nicodemus has sin in his life, sin that he is helpless to do anything with. He cannot follow enough commands. He cannot participate in enough religious ceremonies. He is as helpless to save himself as the Israelites were in Numbers 21 when they were getting bit by those poisonous snakes. Nicodemus' only hope is to look to Jesus in faith, and students, that is our only hope. Our only hope is to look at Jesus in faith. So this week, our prayer and our hope for you is that you 
are looking to Jesus in faith. We cannot wait to see you on Zoom this week, Monday at one o'clock, so that we can discuss these truths with you more in depth, so that we can dive into God's word to encourage and to build one another up. Would you consider joining us? We hope and we pray that you have a great week, and we'll see you soon.